machining a composite rotor. The machine comes standard with a hubless adapter, which is made up of three pieces, the locator, the cone, and the locking nut. In addition, you have two cups with built-in springs and two backing plates. We'll start again with the locator already on the shaft. Mount the large or small backing plate depending on the size of your rotor. Mount the composite rotor onto the spindle shaft. Mount the centering cone. Mount the cup with the built-in spring. Mount the locking nut. Firmly tighten the locking nut with a spanner wrench. Mount the silencer band. When the cutter head assembly is correctly adjusted, turn on the spindle motor. Turn the cutter hand wheel until the cutter just touches the surface of the rotor. Zero the crossfeed hand wheel micrometer. Back off the outside cutter from the surface of the rotor. Zero and back off the inside cutter. Rotate the crossfeed hand wheel until the cutters are just off the edge of the rotor. Rotate the micrometers clockwise to start removing metal. Tighten the red cutter locking knobs. Lock the cross feed hand wheel. Adjust the feed speed to the desired setting. Set the selector switch to rotor feed and begin machining. Continue until the surface is completely machined. 